Hi everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for coming to the channel, for watching the videos. Um, I am grateful for all of you. Come on in, you are welcome, have a seat. Wherever you are from, whatever your religion, whatever your background is, you are welcome to come on in and have a seat and learn this knowledge and use it to your benefit. May it bless you and all those who are around you without any discrimination, without picking anybody out and without um, favoring anyone or the other against the other of you. You are all important to me. I love you all very much and very, um, uh, you know, intensely and passionately, I have to say. So please um, come in. Let's talk about dill. So dill is one of these herbs that the, that the spirits and the ancestors... Today is Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween to those of you who celebrate it. <laughs> it's just a fun occasion, really. And, and it's really fun. But the truth of the matter about Halloween is that the actual veil between the spirit world and this world does actually thin out. However... The things that are on the other side are not all nasty like the things that are in seen, you see in Halloween celebrations. This is just to sell it and to make it commercial. But actually when the veil thins, some really beautiful and powerfully beautiful energies can come in. And our ancestors from the other side, they do appear as well. And they, you f I feel the energy strong with them. I never used to believe in Halloween, but then... As I became older and I, and I uh, let's say, bloomed into my gifts, I came to discover that there is truth behind this claim that the veil thins and that actually it does thin. Um, and make sure that you are in wadu, you are cleansed, you are burning some nice fragrances, using some nice perfumes around, you read the Quran, Ayatul Kursi, which is for protection from all evil, and Qulhullah Adul Mu'zatain, which will help you also be protected, uh, which are the last three surahs of the Quran, or if you have a, your Bible, if you're a Christian, if you're from any other religion, make sure you read the protection texts and pray to the Most High God for protection. It's very beautiful that we have different religions, and me personally, for me, Personally, I don't believe that those religions should be one religion. I believe they should, everyone is free to follow their own religion. And um, it is not my purpose to make all religions into one religion because I, if I tried and, and do that, that would be, wouldn't be a good thing. Um, I have to share this wisdom with you guys. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran has said that if he had wanted, if God the Most High had wanted, he would have made all people follow one religion. But he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want that. He wants everyone to have their own religion. Okay, and, I, and as I've said before, if you are um, at peace with the one Most High God and you do good, then you have a very high chance of being in the good place when you pass on, okay? Religion is something that is, uh, was created by God the Most High and all religions came at their own times for a reason. If people follow certain religions for a reason and every soul has its own journey. As Muslims, we, we believe that in our spirituality, as most Sufi Muslims, we believe that there's a reason for that and the difference. And the reason for that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing people to see what they do. Are you going to fight with everyone else and call them every name under the sun and try and make uh, uh, yourself appear like you've got the best religion and therefore you are going to heaven and everyone else is going to hell? Or are you going to open your arms and take a step back and understand that this is actually a test and that you need to do the best by others and by yourself and lead with example and spread peace and not spread strife and not follow in the footsteps of shaitan 
and be the peaceful, calm, amazing Muslim that you are, okay, spiritually speaking, and also from any other path in Islam, it has different paths as well. Everybody, every soul has its journey. We have to strive for peace because our religion, in our religion, it is the giver of peace. It is not the one that takes peace from people. That was Shaitan Ali Hasbillah Shaitan Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That was Shaitan that was attacking people and that was doing it. It's really, it was really, uh, you know, very sad for us. Um, and the issue is that the problem here as well is that when, when you're a balanced Muslim, and you are, uh, you know, not asking for people to fight each other and stuff like that. Shaitan gets very angry, okay? But they don't have any recourse to you as a Muslim. Your faith is strong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will absolutely cut anyone out that tries to pull you in that direction. So live in love and not in fear. And learn that this religion is about love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is the most high God in Arabic, like I've said before. And Allah, the name Allah is worshipped in churches, synagogues, and in mosques in the Middle East. It's just a word that means the most high. And it's, it's, this word was there before Islam even came. Okay? So all, everything you see on your, the news, all of these things, that's all um, people just jumping the gun and not really understanding anything, just saying things, even, you know, it's so, it's so um, interesting, you know, and just because you see it written on a screen, it doesn't mean that it's true, okay? So I want you all to love, uh, to live in love and not in fear, and you are welcome, whichever religion you are from. Sorry, you guys, I have, sometimes I have um, messages that I, I am asked to share with you guys that don't have to do with the... Um, actual video but let's talk about dill so dill is one of these herbs that is very powerful it's amazing um in arabic it's called shamar we we have it for as a spice and in many countries it is used as a spice as well it's a beautiful smelling spice and it's very nice to spice fish with it especially if you add a little bit of butter and some dill to some fish it will be gorgeous amazing that's the French man in me uh, talking, the, the cooking. <laughs> I love to cook. Okay, so um, dill is very good for the digestive system. It has a lot of vitamins in it. It is very powerful at curing um, stomach ailments and digestive problems. Um, it is good at, for various things. Um, but spiritually, it is extremely powerful as well. So in spirituality, there are many uses for dill. Dill is, is, it can be the actual leaves of the plant or the actual shrub that grows over the, the surface of the earth, which is called dillweed. Um, and then it has seeds that are called dill seeds that are very similar to fennel seeds, but they're a bit different than fennel. So don't confuse dill seeds with fennel seeds. Dill is different and you can buy both of these things online, okay? Um, I'm going to include pictures of both the, the, uh, the actual dill uh, leaves and the seed on the video. So you can know kind of uh, the difference between them. Dill is very powerful spiritually um, and it is one of the most important things um, for breaking love spells. So if you feel that someone has done a love spell on you, um, or that you feel you have, there's a love spell on you, that every time you try and find love, everything goes wrong. <laughs> and that you can't find your, yourself, your, a partner, or that there's any reason. By the way, spells can be done by other people, and they be, can be done by us as well, in standing in the way of our blessings, and not actually, uh, you know, going after the people we love. You know, if you're a man... Uh, not going after the woman you love um, and so on is, is it can be your own spell that is blocking you um, but women obviously are receptive so it's different for women because they, they receive the love and the men they pursue and they give the love so the feminine always relieve the, receive the masculine give um, so um, 
the um, breaking love spells here is very important. So, it, like I said, it's either love spells that have already been placed on us or new things that come uh, from other people or other energies, okay? I'm going to give you guys a recipe here. You can use the seeds or the leaves in this recipe. And it is to break love spells. <laughs> I remember a very funny story. My grandma, God bless her soul, um, she... <laughs> used to help people spiritually with many things and stuff like that and one day she there was like a um a gathering in our home and there were a lot of women coming from different places to see my grandma people used to tr travel to see her from all over the world especially women um and um they uh, she would heal them and remove love love blocks and stuff like that and then she came to me and said to me um you're making all of these women go and buy deal. They said you've put lo a love spell on all of them. They believe you've put love spells on them. <laughs> she was so sweet. She always used to give me compliments. God bless her soul and make me feel better about myself. So she said, don't, don't come and where these women are because, you know, you're, you're starting to give them pa paranoia. They feel that you've put love spells on them. <laughs> They're going to buy deal. So I was like, oh, that's cool, Grandma. Thank you very much for believing um, that I can do that, actually. <laughs> I don't feel like it, but it seems to be that you believe it's the, tru it's the truth. So she was laughing. God bless her soul. I remember her now. See, I'm telling you, uh, <laughs> Halloween, the, the veil definitely thinks out. So for the recipe for love is you need to create a a bath okay and you can create this with the herbs that i'm gonna mention or drops of the essential oils in the oil you need to bathe for five days um or seven days or 11 days okay five seven or eleven okay with depending on how strong you think this love spell is so for the love spell you add rose to mint and you add dill Okay, so these three together. You can also burn this as an incense if you don't want to have a bathe with it or uh, you don't want to make an oil, for example. You can make an oil with it. You can add, like, say, um, 20 drops of each essential oil of dill, rose, and mint into olive oil and then use it from your head to your toes. Start with the head, go down your body to the toes and towards the left. Um... You can use it for a while until you feel this is, uh, this is gone from you. I like the oil the most because it will be on the body and when the person showers, it will go off so they can use it every day when they have the shower uh, or before they have the shower. And then use it after the shower and every day it will be just renewed as for as long as the oil is there. So you add these like 20 drops each into an ounce of oil, uh, like 30 mils of oil and do that. But you can use it in any of the other ways. Okay, so that's one of the recipes. The other recipe that has to do with love is it has to do with male nature and with uh, impotence. I think in the last few videos, there's been talk about impotence. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's been like impotence on all videos. So this one as well, it helps to restore a man's nature, especially if the man's nature is believed to be uh due to uh, has been lost due to black magic or negativity okay whatever it is and this uh, for this combination it has to be a bath okay and it has to you have to put ginger and dill you can get some ground ginger or ginger essential oil and you or you can get some dill um uh, uh, in seeds or or uh leaves or both i i would say use both for this one the leaves and the seeds and add ginger to it you can use the essential oil oils instead okay so add 10 drops of each to the bath and bathe with this for five days it will restore your nature especially if the nature has been lost due to black magic or to a curse or to negativity it does happen you know i've seen it before there was a woman that was very angry with a man who had went and uh, she was um he, her husband went with another woman uh, to marry another woman and she was very angry so she cursed his nature so he wasn't able to do much <laughs> so he had to come to us for this 
and we helped him get rid of it. But he also got a telling off from my grandfather, who was a big sheikh in his time. Allah God bless his soul. And he was telling him about the fact that, you know, this four wife things is not something that is meant for him. It has certain conditions that are very extreme. And it's one wife that is best for him. So he went back to his original wife because my grandfather was very powerful. He had a lot of miracles and stuff. Um, they are Sayyids, obviously. They know what's going on. And my grandfather only had one wife. We don't believe in uh, this four wives business. Um... So then uh, you bathe in ginger and dill together, okay? They bathe five days and restore your nature if, the, if you feel that something like this has happened to you. Right, the next thing that dill helps with is money. It's very powerful in attracting money. It's extremely powerful. And it's so powerful because it has a power to protect and remove negativity. So if there's any curses, hexes, jinxes, or negativity around your money, this will remove it. The recipe for this is dill, basil, and cinnamon. Okay, that's you can make the best thing to do with this one is to make either an incense with it, with it or an oil, perfume oil. They smell great, by the way. It smells great. When you add it to the basil and the cinnamon, it will be delicious. Okay, so try and get these essential oils, mix them together in olive oil. 30 mils of olive oil, put like 22 drops of each, 22 I would say, um, or 24 drops, okay, to, to add it. Um, choose your numbers, I find 7 as well, 7 drops, okay, in 10 mils, say you've got 10 mils of olive oil, add 7 drops of each, dill, basil and cinnamon essential oils. Or you can carry the herbs in a green cloth bag because it will, it will, you can use that energy as, that way, use it that way as well. Put it in your pocket if you're someone who is in business and so on. You'll find that it will attract a lot of money to you and uh, your business will boom, whatever you're doing. The most important thing with these things is to actually m make an effort, yeah? Don't just make the oil and put it on the table and, and cross your legs and say, oh my God, I'm going to get rich. No, you're not going to really get rich like that. You've got to work for it. <laughs> so you have to do what is, in, what is needed. It will get you money. This combination is very powerful. Okay, so please do it. And when you get the money, um, remember us, remember me and give me a, 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 um, a big thank you. Okay. <laughs> I promise you I will use them. Half of the money will go to charity. If you look at the channel's page, this is for the children of Yemen and Sudan, Ethiopia, and any, any, any children who are hungry. I'm, I am, I'm giving them half of any money I get from or through, uh, through this channel. Um, so, um, inshallah, Allah accepts it. Amen. So this uh, is very powerful for money, okay? Now another use for um, dill is it is very useful in legal matters, okay? Especially if you have a court date or a court appearance of some kind, even if it's on an online appearance, okay? This will help you greatly. It will help you win, okay? It's Especially if you're on the right and you believe you're on the right. With these things, never use any of the things I tell you if you think that you are, you are the person who's done the wrong thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything. If you are wrong, they will backfire and it will be a very painful experience for you. So you have to... The cost is very high, by the way, of using these things when you're in the wrong. Remember always to read Quran with all of these things. I will say Ayatul Kursi and Qul Hu Allahu Ahadan al Mu'uzatan, which is the, la the last three surahs of the Quran, and Ayatul Kursi as a staple, as an, a basic thing to read. You can also read other, whatever Quran you are inspired to read. But the most important thing is to put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first with this kind of, these kind of prayers, especially when herbs are, invo are involved and things like that, because there's so many e energies attached to them. And you want to make sure that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the most high God's energy that is helping you. Okay, this way you will get a complete and perfect result because God the most high is perfect. So he will give you a perfect result. If 
you just use it and you think that you're going to do it yourself or that any other thing is going to help you, you're going to be disappointed. Okay, I'm afraid to say. So, put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first, always use this. So for the court, bring, the dill, bring dill seeds, okay, and put them in front of you. Recite the Quran, hold, put your hand on top, or your right hand on top of the seeds and see yourself getting vic victory in your mind. See yourself getting that big compensation that you're getting or see yourself for your case being reopened or see yourself being granted that thing that you've applied for. This can, this can work with anything legal, okay? Anything legal. Um... What you do is, you write the names of all of the people involved in, with Dragon's Blood Inc. If you go to the Dragon's Blood video, it explains about the ink and where to find it. You can find it online. Or you can use the red ink. Okay? Write the names of everyone who's involved or as many people as, you've, as you know. Okay? Say, for example, you've applied for something and you know the names of the people. And you know the office, write the name of the office, the name of the people, write the date you applied, write the date you're expecting a reply, if you're expecting one, write the reason, okay, you can write the reason as well on it, okay, um, and then you can write, for example, if you say you, you want to win a court case, you've been discriminated against by someone, and you want to win a discrimination court case, say, my discrimination case so and so so and so names of all the le the solicitors everybody involved from the from your side or the other person's side or the other entity's side wrap them all up um and then uh, in a red uh, wrap the names after we write them on a piece of paper it has to be a white paper just a white paper or a brown paper up to you um you can use other colors of paper as well. Green is very good for court cases. Brown is best though. Brown paper is best for this, okay? Um, write the names and wrap it in a, in a red cloth. Then you take this red cloth with the, with the paper inside it after you wrap it, put it in a cold, dark place and don't touch it until the day you have your Zoom call or you have your court appearance or whatever it is. Okay, you, some people go as far as to freeze this in a block of ice. They pour, they put the paper uh, and the cloth inside a container, pour water on it and put it in the freezer. Okay, so keep it in a cold, dark place, I would say. Then take it with you to your uh, day, day, the court situation and you are definitely going to be winning with flying colors. All you need is still seeds, who knew, yeah? <laughs> it's very powerful. Right, the other thing that dill seeds can do is it can pr help protect your health, which is something very important these days. By the way, if you need any health protection, contact me, please. Mine are foolproof, alhamdulillah. They are extremely powerful. I do them for others, for children, for anyone. Um, if you go to my November video, I did predict what whatever's going on now with with the, the health situation. Let's say the global health situation, um, and you know, um, I I can see as well from the news what's going on. One day it's hot, one day it's cold, but soon it's gonna get very very bad. Okay, I'm telling you, the, you guys you need to get some kind of spiritual protection so if you want that email me we're gonna work something out the price is not the problem also there's something i want to talk to you guys about as well many of you are emailing me asking to talk to me obviously i understand that whatever is on my channel is interesting okay and people want to talk people want to learn about it they want to understand maybe you've had a similar experience maybe you have uh something you know to, to tell me about it, that that's happened to you and what your experience was and so on. So, um, my, uh, the way that I work is that the um, actual um, people who are interested in me are a lot, okay? I will tell you, they are probably more in the tens of thousands, okay? And I can't deal with everyone 
okay, or if someone just wants to call me to talk to me about it and stuff like that, you know. So the best way to deal with this is that we have, I've talked to some people who are experienced in this field about it, and the only thing that solved this problem was to make it a paid item, like a, a consultation, okay? So you can call me, but you will have to pay for the time that you speak to me, okay? It, could, it might not be a reading. Maybe you just want to ask questions about this. Maybe you've been through something and you need help, okay? I'm not, a, I'm not a, a terrible person. I want to help everyone. I want to talk to everyone. But it needs to be paid for so that, number one, there is some structure to it. Number two, the people who actually can pay for it are few, okay? So that there's, it's not like overwhelming for me because I'm a human being as well. I get really overwhelmed in the beginning when I used to talk to everyone. Believe me, I couldn't sleep well. I couldn't eat well. I couldn't work well. It, it, took, it took a lot out of me. So that's why it's paid for, okay? Because it takes a lot of energy for me to do it, okay? So the, uh, it's paid for as, as like you have, for example, if you want to have a reading, it's 100 pounds per hour. This also is 100 pounds per hour. If you have any questions, any queries, anything like that, okay? So the, to pay proves that the person is interested and is not just playing games or wanting to talk or waste anyone's time, okay? And that it decreases the number of people that I actually can manage and deal with, okay? So I do take around three calls every day, all right? And these calls can go on for two, three hours. Some, pipe, some people pay for five hours, so I leave them at the end of the day and then we, I read them and talk to them, okay? So... That's just to explain the situation. If anyone emails me, I don't want anyone to feel upset or to feel like I, I'm not interested in what they have to say or that, you know, I'm treating them or that I'm just interested in money and that's all it is. No, there is a background to it and it's important that we do this this way. Okay? It's very important. It also proves that the person is genuine. Believe me, in the beginning, I used to get callers from scammers, people who will tell me long stories and lies. We're going to give you this, do that to you, just send us your name and your bank details, all these kinds of things. So to filter this out, people need to pay first. And many people who are genuine and interested and are amazing and understanding, they don't mind. Okay? So... That's all I have to say to you guys. If you want to come to me in any capacity, come to me as a client first. Then after that, if I talk to you, maybe I can answer your questions or help you out or read you or whatever you want, okay? I don't use cards and things to read people. I read people with just with my eyes, just without anything, okay? Which I'm grateful for this gift. I do have this gift, okay? So... What were we talking about? Sorry, you guys. Sorry, I digress. I just needed to say this to you guys. Right, so the health, to, to protect your health, it protects your health, okay? So if you need me, email me at quranicverses7, <coughs> quranicverses6 at gmail.com, sorry, quranicverses6 at gmail.com, quranicverses6 at gmail.com, I'm going to leave it in the video description. So email me there and I can, you know, arrange for you to have an appointment, okay? The time that is suitable for me and for yourself. But this is a basic health protection that is for people who cannot afford this. This is the reason this channel has been, uh, I've made it anyway, is to help people who cannot afford, okay? And also to teach people about these things as well, okay? So what you need to get is some dill and you need to get a herb called Angelica, which is very powerful to work with for angelic energies it's a Chinese herb. It's called Dong Kwai. Chinese women, women take it for cramps, for pains, and stuff like that. And it's very helpful for menopausal women. But it's extremely powerful spiritually. It removes any kind of negativity. Believe me, I've, I've like seen it work with myself as well, you know, in the past. So add the dill to the angelica. Together in, carry them both in a white cloth bag it has to be white anything you want to do or talisman you want to do for health it has to be made out of white cloth or white material 
So if you had, I do your health protection, I usually have them in these white ceramic things that are then sealed shut with the person's name inside, with the herbs that have been blessed and read over, and with all of the other materials that I know of. Okay, very powerful things. Some of them I cannot mention in the video. But they are all sealed shut inside this white ceramic bowl that is fixed and buried in cement so that the, her the, the person is protected and it really does work okay it's a long process but it does work so add angelica to deal plant curry and white cloth back for you to protect your health another fun piece of information for you guys is that smelling the seeds can cure hiccups who knew i actually tried that and it worked <laughs> i sometimes get these hiccups and stuff i hate them but uh, they are very easy to deal with all you have to do is smell uh, some dill seeds and it will get rid of them for you i love you guys so much this was an extensive video i hope it has helped you guys um, and I, I hope it will help you all be blessed with health wealth love and happiness thank you again so much for coming to this video i really appreciate all of you and there's nobody who's less than the other person in my eyes from anyone who watches my video or anyone i read or anyone i know and um I do not take, take people lightly. I love you guys so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. It will be a, doing a good deed. You will be sawab and be ajr for you guys to do that so that more people can see and listen and, you know, understand. And uh, get inspired as well for living, to live in love and not in fear and to know that the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, 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 is limitless. And that there are actually people in this world, Muslim people who are spiritual and that they are very powerful as well. That they can do things and, you know, we get all of these lights in the sky. It's, it's something that always has happened to our sheikhs or to people um like from i remember my grandma i used to see things in the sky with him as well and also all of the other shapes that i know that are related to my family when i go to visit them i see the lights in the sky which are angelic or fairy lights or uh, even ufos with creatures from other planets here coming here which sometimes i communicate with telepathically as well they're lovely gorgeous beautiful and peaceful and they believe in the most high god and they have their own worship you know I hope this is, uh, uh, you know, enough for you guys. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Again, please remember to like, share and subscribe. It will be ajr for you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you all from all harm. May he give you health, wealth, love and happiness beyond your wildest dreams. Ameen. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you guys. See you guys in your next video. Call upon the powers that be.